Now, it's been a warm, above average January something so far this year. Something the iguanas might like, but we did see a little bit of a cool down with that front that came through on Thursday. Again, pulled us back down away from the records that we saw earlier in the week. Now that we've kind of gotten back down to average, well, we kind of pick up our next warming trend. That's going to carry us into the weekend and towards next week as well. We'll see those temperatures starting to climb up into the 60s and 70s. Taking a look at your weekend forecast. Again, we'll see those windier conditions pick back up for us on Saturday. Cloud coverage will start to increase as well. Again, temperatures into the upper 60s. We'll top out at 68 for Saturday. And we're going to add on just a few more degrees each day going in towards Sunday as well, getting into those low 70s. A little bit warmer and more cloud coverage. So, again, your weekend forecast for the most part shaping up temperature wise to be pretty good to get out there, but it is going to be a bit on the windier side. Cloud coverage for the most part staying well off towards the west, out towards Arizona as well as to New Mexico. That will be working its way in towards the Lone Star State over the next couple of days. So, we will see that increased cloud coverage across the Concho Valley for the weekend. But for the most part, today we saw mostly clear skies and that continued for us into the evening time frame. Temperatures already kind of starting to calm down or fall back down into those mid 40s. 44 degrees in downtown San Angelo, two points into the mid 20s. And those winds out of the south at eight miles per hour. And that's about where they're gonna stay for the overnight hours. Again, turning more out of the south, that brings us the warmer temperatures through the weekend. But as we get in towards Saturday and Sunday, we'll start to see those winds actually really start to pick up. So again, enjoying a little bit more of a calmer conditions for us tonight. Do see some couple 30s on the map. In fact, a pocket of those 37s out towards Ozona, Sonora, as well as El Dorado. For the most part, everybody else into the 40s. 46 in Brady, 46 in Eden as well. 42 out in Mertzen and 43 in Sterling City. So a little bit warmer if you're out anywhere other than towards the southwest where you see those temperatures into the 30s. But regardless, it's still seeing a temperature change compared to this time yesterday of a few degrees. Again, we're going to add on a few degrees each day as we go in towards the weekend. And tonight, for, as we're kind of rounding out your Friday to 13th, temperatures are going to drop down into the mid-30s through the early morning hours. Clear skies, that's where they're going to continue. And those south winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we go in towards tomorrow, that's when we see the winds really start to ramp up through the late morning hours into the early afternoon. We'll see some gusts up to 25, even 30 miles per hour. And you start to see that cloud coverage make its way in towards our area as well. 68 for an afternoon high, but the bigger story is going to be those very gusty winds picking up throughout the day. And they're going to continue to gust into the overnight hours. Overnight going into Sunday morning, could be hearing some of those howling of the winds as those gusts get up to 30 miles per hour. So not going to see the big drop off in the winds that we usually see during the overnight hours as you go in towards your Sunday. And that's going to continue not just for Sunday, kind of rolling into Monday as well. See those gustier conditions kind of persisting through the weekend and in towards the beginning of next week. Upper level ridge rebuilds over much of the area. That's going to allow those warmer temperatures to begin to flourish across the central southern plains. Won't be until later into the, about the middle of the week. Late on Tuesday, early Wednesday, we see our next little weather maker make its way across the United States. That's going to work its way in towards our area, bringing some cooler temperatures as well as some instability. And it's all going to be questioned on Will we have enough moisture in the atmosphere when that system makes its arrival? Again, we'll have that increased cloud coverage going in towards Sunday. That's going to certainly help with that moisture, but we'll be keeping an eye on those dew points because as that system makes its arrival, depending on how much moisture we have in place, we could be seeing some very isolated showers late Tuesday going into early Wednesday. Again, this could be some of the first measurable rain of the year for much of the Concho Valley. It's just been a fairly dry start in addition to the warmer temperatures and then a push off towards the east. We'll look at those clearing skies back behind that system. So again, it's going to be a very fast, mo fast moving system that won't be very widespread in nature as far as those showers and storms. So just hanging on to about 10 to 20 percent chance of some of those showers on Tuesday. Otherwise, breezy conditions. We'll see those temperatures increase into the lower 70s for afternoon highs as we get into the beginning of next week.